everyone, it's Maisie at The Confident Stitch. It's been a little while since we did a live stream, so thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna take you through the new quilting cottons in our store. As you may know, we just had our annual fat quarter sale and it went really well and we went through a ton of fabric. And so now we're refilling our shelves with a bunch of new fun stuff just in time for summer. So I'm gonna show you everything and I'll tell you a little bit about the collections. And we'll just take a closer look. Let's go. All right. To start off, this is the Forage Collection by Figo Fabrics. It was designed by Sarah Gordon. She's actually a British designer, but she lives in Washington and she's really well known for her botanical designs. Um, I am in love with this collection. Some people don't really like it because of the creepy crawlies, but I just think it's really fun and colorful and has really interesting um, color pairings. So this fabric is called Life from Down Here in White. It's got plants and bugs and all that fun stuff. There's also a purple colorway. This is Life from Down Here in Purple. And I really love how you see all the greens in a way that you didn't in the white. So super fun. Next up is Oh My a Papaya in Purple. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure if these are papayas, but I really liked the pun, so that's what I named it. <laughs> we also have them in yellow, so that's a really fun contrast, and it goes super well, obviously, as it would in a collection with the fabrics that we had that have a kind of our main pattern on here. The next fabrics in this collection are Regal Beetles in tan, and there's also some in blue. This is where I think people kind of decide they don't like this collection. But as you can see, there's all these really fun color pairings in the beetles themselves. It just gets really interesting. And I think that the solids you can bring in, there's just a lot of room for fun play. And so you can see we've got the blue version as well. And there's this cool geometric option. Um, I actually am making a quilt, my very first quilt, and I've been, um, I'm, so I'm making the Faster 14. This is just an easy pattern, but I'm using a lot of fabrics from this collection. And I like how you can kind of play with direction because of all these half square triangles and triangles. So um, once it's done, I'll show you how it's turned out. Um, I think you could also make a fun Posh Penelope from this quilt. Um, the Figo has a pattern called Harvest Star. Um, that I think Rachel can show for us, yeah. And it kind of reminds me of this Posh Penelope. As you can see, there's a lot of space in between the patterns. Because this is such a chock full collection of patterns, you kind of need to let it breathe in some ways. And so Figo has a great pattern that's downloadable, but I also think that this Posh Penelope would work great with this collection. All righty, so next up, is the Summer in the Cotswolds collection. Um, it was designed by Jane Mazinski for RJR. Um, the Cotswolds, it's a rural area in South Central Ang England. It's famous for its thatched roofs and stone pathways. Like if you think of old England, that's what this looks like, or the Shire, <laughs> which if you're a nerd, that's what you're thinking of. And so um, you can kind of just see it's like misty and beautiful and the designer, um, Jean, she took a vacation here and she was just so inspired by it that she had to make a collection. So we've got these cute bikes in kind of a tan color. This one is called Evening Ride in Metallic Paradise. And this is called Evening Ride in Metallic Fern. Um, that's a funny thing about RJR is they're not super clear on, they always are swapping colors for like emotions, but this is kind of like a tan yellow. And this is sort of a sage green. Another fun thing about this collection is the metallic accents. I think a lot of people are hit or miss on metallics. You either love them or you don't love them. But I think in this collection, she's done a really good job of just sprinkling it in, in a really flattering way that it doesn't overtake the design, but it really kind of enhances it. So we've got our bikes and then this is kind of a more basic, it's called Bumblebee in metallic mist. Again, fun metallics and sort of just all these patterns that you'll see throughout the rest of the collection, she's pulled in and put into sort of one fabric. 
Next, this one is rainy English garden in metallic afternoon. So kind of same thing, a uh, funny name, but um, you can totally picture the place when you see this fabric. Next is bees knees in metallic twilight. This is kind of a tricky one for you to see probably. I'm gonna pull it over so you can see its other colorway at the same time. This is bees knees in metallic dusk. And so yeah, she's incorporated, you can see the bees in some other places, but they really show up here. And this is the most metallic that she's got in the collection. But I kind of, it's got this dainty, um, really old feel to it. And so you can kind of use that as a fun contrast as you go. And then the last two that we're carrying in this collection are beehive in metallic sage and beehive in metallic honey. So again, really beautiful, kind of an old, an homage to old England, I think, and just the way these designs are laid out, kind of this almost crest look. And um, I think that for this collection, the broken herringbone quilt would be a great one. This this design kind of, it reminds me of sort of the thatch, the shape of the thatched roofs. And also, it's big enough that you will, you'll be able to see the patterns. Like you don't want to miss those bikes. And so kind of you can build a quilt around some of this bigger shape. So anyway, that's what I've been thinking. Okay, next up is a super fun collection. This is, yeah, just plain fun. It's called Sunburst. It's an art gallery fabrics collection. And it was actually designed by the collective there. So a few different designers had to say, and it's very retro, 1960s. Um, you can, it's tricky because you can kind of see the fabric underneath, but this comes in two colorways and they're really a subtle difference. So this one is called Fun in the Sun in Warm. And this one is Fun in the Sun in Cool. And so the only, the main difference, there's kind of a warmer background here and a cooler background here, but it's really subtle. But the yellow and the warm is kind of what makes the difference. But all these bathing beauties, what's not to love? So fun. The other two coordinating fabrics that we have to go with this um, are Beach Happy in Water and Beach Happy in Sand. So just kind of an aqua and a bright orange. Um, we also have a knit fabric or two knits um, that are also from this collection. One of them has the bathing beauties and one of them has like these um, lemons in kind of a pink. They're really fun and super summery. So you could, if you're a garment maker, you might wanna check those out. They're all on our website. Um, the pattern I'm thinking, you could totally do a faster 14 like I had mentioned at the beginning because you want to, you'll get that big shape of all the girls bathing. But I also think in the kind of 1960s vibe, you could do this Florence Flamingo quilt by Elizabeth Hartman. It'd be really fun to kind of mess with that and just sort of bring out that theme even more. Okay, next up, whoops, sorry, Butterfingers is a collection called Smoke and Rust. It was designed for Moda by Vanessa Gertzen, and it was inspired by Zion National Park in December. And I don't know if you've ever been to Zion, it's in um, Utah, and I've been there in the summer, it's really beautiful. It's just essentially a giant canyon that you wander through, but she went there in December, and she has a beautiful picture, and it's kind of just, you see the snow, but you also see the red rocks. And it brought this whole new color combination that she hadn't ever before considered. And so she decided to build a collection around it that was a little more masculine, she said. So this one is called Sign of Adventure in Soot. Really fun, just all these, you know, inspirational quotes, bison. This, it would work really well. Um, if you were traveling, we, we try to highlight these kinds of fabrics for visitors to Montana. So even though this is Utah, we, we kind of have taken it for ourselves a little bit. There's a J.R.R. Tolkien quote. So I've already mentioned the Shire. Well, we're nerds around here for sure. We also have this fabric in a different colorway. It's called um, a Sign of Adventure in Ash. Same thing, same fun design. Next is 
follow through in soot and sediments in flax. These are different designs, but they're kind of basics in the collection. And um, they could be used for a lot of other things too, which is nice. These are just kind of fabrics that would be fun to have in your stash. And I really like how she's played with geometry because of the way the rock formations are. I think you really get that visual of natural formations. Next is diamond stripe in rust and diamond stripe in soot. Some two just kind of classic Southwestern patterns, really bright colors. They kind of bring the punch that you might miss in other parts of this collection. And then this is called cross country in flax. Again, sort of just a basic, um, but when you put it all together, I think you could do some really fun things. This is our new, it's a, called the Homestead Star. Um, it's by a designer in Bozeman. She's um, new, she has Plains and Pines is her pattern company. And this is kind of a traditional pattern and I think people tend to use really bright colors, but you could do something really fun by using a more muted collection. So that might be something fun to try. I also think, it's kind of a side note, this we're venturing into garment fabric a little bit, but you could back a quilt like this with some of our flannel. We have this Taos flannel from Robert Kaufman, and it just sort of has that same feel, and also there's sort of a, a color variation, so it's opposite colors, and you could have some fun with that as well. So, something to think about. Okay, now on to the Pearl Collection designed by Sarah Watts for Ruby Star Society. And that's P-U-R-L, probably all you knitters know that. I'm not a knitter myself, but I have to say that looking at this collection has kind of inspired me to take it up. <laughs> it's just cozy and has kind of a crazy color scheme, which is very typical of Ruby Star. So this first one is called Wound Up in Multi. Just some yarn balls, casual. Really fun, really cute. And then this is embroidered floral in metallic black. Just, again, a not too heavy handed use of metallic, I think. It's gold, but kind of has a coppery edge. And I like how you can kind of tell that it's an embroidered design. It doesn't look like a normal floral or like a floral pattern trying to be real flowers. It looks like a take on embroidery. So it's just really lovely. Next is Tea Time in Metallic Water. This might be a little harder for you to see, but it has all these really gorgeous teapots on it. And um, I kind of like how it's so light on light that when huh, light catches it, that's when you really see the teapots. So it's kind of a trick of the eye. It's really fun and cute. Next is Yarn Flash in Tan and this one is, it's really subtle. It has all these little scissors and crochet hooks and knitting needles and sheep. And I wasn't super taken with this one at first, but when you look at it within the entire collection, you see how it's necessary. There's great color balance happening in this collection. And I'll show you that in a minute when I show some of the quilting designs they're suggesting, but it, it looks deceptively boring, but it's not at all. It really brings out the rest of the collection. Next, we have Knit in Metallic Water and Knit in Emeralds. These are kind of basics, but they have sort of a, obviously, a knit design and just bring everything else out. A beautiful accent. I love how they look together. Really fun. And then the last two are called Wanderlust in Shell and Wanderlust in Emeralds. And it's just actual cotton. And I like the kind of True to Ruby Star form, there's a cartoony element to it. And so, it, I don't know. It's just kind of a fun, abstract way to look at this sort of design. The patterns that Moda has suggested to go with, it, they have them. They sell them on their website. And we um, are considering carrying them because we love how this all looks together. It is, it's called Fluke is one. And then Big Knit was the other one I was really taken with. And I thought that you can just see how all those fabrics together they work so well. Sometimes you look at a collection in a quilt form and you think, mm, I don't like that as much, but this one really just kind of lights up for me. And so 
some quilts that we already carry that I think would kind of do the same thing are our Posh Blossom by So Kind of Wonderful and May Chappelle's Lazy Sunday Quilt. You can see they're kind of similar designs, but just it gives you room to kind of combine all those fabrics in really fun, different ways. Okay. So, wow, can't believe we're almost done. Next, I'm going to just end on some good old fashioned cave. Um, <laughs> who doesn't love cave, right? <laughs> we've gotten a few of these and we've got more coming. They're just so fun. Obviously, if you love cave, you love him through and through. And how could you not? This one is the cave facet enchanted in yellow. Just kind of your typical floral in crazy cave colors. Um, next is the Pebble Mosaic in Rust. This is actually designed by Brandon Mabley, who um, is part of the Cave Collective. And um, we, he's done a few other things that we really liked. There was the um, cephalopods that was part of our previous, our spring collection, quilting cotton collection. So he's he's got an eye that really feeds into Cave's whole MO. So that one's super fun. Next, this is one of my favorites, is the, um, Ombre leaves in orange. I just love this royal blue behind it is like electric with all these oranges. It just kind of, it's so bright and beautiful. I, yeah, I can't get enough of it really. Um, and then this comes in another colorway, which is the purple. And this kind of has a muted mustard behind it. Also really lovely, but I have to say that the red one kind of just like sticks in my brain and I love it so much. Um, next is the Cave Facet Ferns in Turquoise. We've carried this design before in kind of a periwinkle, um, and it, we love that one too, but the way this kind of lime green comes out of this turquoise is just arresting. I mean, I keep saying that, it's really just Cave in and of himself, but so summery. This fabric just feels like summer. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Cave, oops, sorry, um, Paisley Jungle in Tangerine. And isn't this a wild time? <laughs> There's so much going on. Um, and that's, that's part of what I love about Cave, is if you get a fat quarter, you can cut it a million ways from Sunday and no shape is going to look the same. So you have so much variety to go in there. It's really fun how this one goes with our ferns from before. You can see that he's kind of used the same color scheme and he does it on purpose. He uses all these wacky colors, but he ties everything together. So you can basically pick five K fabrics at random and make a gorgeous quilt out of them. I wanted to show you, we have this K Facet Bold Blooms book, which is just beautiful to look at. It can be a great coffee table read. But we've got this just simple blue Ohio star. It's kind of a basic pattern, but he's mixed all these beautiful colors and it's just dazzling to look at. So I think that you could do something really fun with this effervescence quilt from Studio 180. Kate made this recently and she used a different collection and it looked great but it was kind of a more subdued collection and you could just go crazy and pick all the cave you wanted and you get a really fun, similar thing happening. I also like how there's kind of this, this space for lighter fabrics like we had talked about with the uh, forage at the very beginning. Sometimes you need to let your eye breathe and so you have space to do that in a quilt like this. Um, okay, I guess that was a whirlwind tour of all our fabrics. We actually have some more coming in because of COVID, um, things have been backed up and now we're getting a ton of fabrics. So I encourage you to constantly look on our website, subscribe to our newsletter, see what's always new because we've got a lot of fun things happening. We also are transitioning between photographers, our really wonderful photographer, Bess. She's moved to Butte and so um, we've had to switch. She's still gonna be our graphic designer, but we're finding a new photographer. So in the meantime, we have some generic photos, but we're taking pictures as we speak. So if you want to see more of something, you can look on our website for sure. And we're going to get more 
um, close up fabric pictures soon. So I hope you're staying cool out there. It's blazing hot here and I'm sure it's blazing hot where you are. Um, but stay inside and quilts. That's what this weather is for. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.